Hello and welcome to episode number 14 of Agency Toolbox. This is Gray McKenzie and I'm here with another quick episode with a simple productivity app review. The app is called Paste. It is available in the Mac App Store and also at pasteapp.me, which we'll get to here in a second. And it's basically just a turbocharged clipboard manager. And prior to this one, I'd use JumpCut. I'd use a couple other free ones and found out about Pace, switched to it, and I absolutely love it. So I'm going to quickly show you guys what, how I use it, what it is, and, uh, and why I recommend it. So pasteapp.me, here's the website. You can just grab it on the Mac App Store. They have a seven-day free trial. I want to say it's like a $5 purchase sale, and it's totally worth it. In fact, I should probably click that open and find out the pricing for sure, but that'll, that's subject to change anyways. Absolutely love the tool. So I have a keyboard shortcut. I'm just going to pop it up and we'll see. Hopefully there's nothing too embarrassing in my my clipboard manager here. Okay. So as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of uh, items and I can keep scrolling through this forever and ever. But I've got a whole bunch of items here that I have copied at some point for whatever reason. The bulk of mine are links. Could be something random. I needed a baseball emoji for some reason. So grab that and uh, and copied that somewhere else. Um, CSS stuff. It could be anything. But here's one of the huge advantages of Paste versus some of the other ones that I've used. It will preserve the formatting that you have. So, for example, here's some text right here, um, which is basically a meeting agenda for a meeting um, that we had. And I was able to copy it. It copied with all of the formatting and everything, pasted it in, and I didn't have to mess around with trying to reformat it in the new document that I was creating. So I absolutely love that. The other huge feature that's been super helpful for me is the ability to search. So just normal Command F on a Mac here. I search for do inbound, and it instantly populates all of my results from do inbound. So I've copied some links, I've copied uh, some RSS feeds, some random stuff. And I can even use um, the tagging system or the dots feature here to categorize things that I have. Now one of the one of the cool things about this is it works. It doesn't only copy and it'll show you real quickly. Obviously you can see here links and text, but those are pretty similar because they're both text based. You can also grab images and copy images. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and copy that image, pop paste back over, get rid of that. And you can see I have the image on the clipboard. It gives me a great preview of what that is. And I can just copy and paste that. I can plug that anywhere that I need to plug that in. If there was a hex code, so I'm going to do a quick little, oh, you know what? I don't have a, I don't have my text expander here, but that's okay. We're going to do this anyways. If I were to grab a hex code and copy that and then go to paste, it'll actually show me the color right there as well. This is really handy if you're doing design. Uh, or some front-end development or something, and you're bouncing back and forth between different hex codes, especially in the agency space for a client. And it takes you, you know, it probably takes you five, ten minutes of pacing stuff back and forth before you completely remember flawlessly which hex code goes with each of the five colors that you're working with. This you just know instantly, uh, and you don't have to don't have to stress about that. So I I really like those types of features that it has. Uh, it's a super small thing. But being able to visually see what you're about to paste in or the color recognition or the image um, rather than just an image URL, that's been, that's been super helpful. So that is paste for you. I am going to show you here real quickly what you have inside of the tool. So I have a history capacity set at 500. I love the fact that you can have as many as you want. I've never needed more than 500 and I don't have it set to unlimited just to preserve a little bit of a of local memory but you can uh set that whatever you're wherever you're comfortable with if you're on a shared computer maybe you don't want everything uh that you um, had generated maybe you don't want that all available for everybody um that might be like a link to a one-time video uh where there's a shareable url but it's not meant for everybody so you might want to get rid of that one and you can do that it also uh, directly from here we could just take this and remove it or just hit delete and uh, and have it go away there as well. Sound effects, show the icon in the menu bar up here. We can kill that. I just I just leave it off, launch it on system startup. There's really no uh 
no, I think hidden features here that I can think of that you might not guess about. I, I guess the rules thing is the one uh, that I have used the most. So shortcuts, very simple, um, but rules. So ignoring passwords. I don't want it to copy and retain passwords for me, but you could uncheck that if it's you're the only person ever using your computer and you're not worried about any of that um, automatically generated content. What do you not want to save history for? Those types of things. So this has been really helpful and uh, it won't save. So if I go and copy a password from one password, which we use to manage our, uh, our password sharing among the team, if I go copy a password, that'll, that'll work for one time paste but it won't save the history for that. So it doesn't mess up your normal workflow, uh, but it does add some extra security around uh, not having things left in your clipboard. So that's paste. Like I said, super small, super simple, but use it dozens of times a day and absolutely love it. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in comments below. And again, you can grab the paste app by going to pasteapp.me or just searching for it in the Mac app store. All right, there you go. That's going to wrap up what we have for this week. Short and sweet. Big fan of this tool. Uh, let me know what your favorite tools are. Is there a tool that you guys are using and absolutely loving at your agency that you think other people should know about? I would love to know about that. Um, and stay tuned. If you have not yet subscribed to the podcast, either on iTunes or YouTube, or you can also go to the blog, do inbound.com slash toolbox, and you can subscribe to get show notes and new episodes in your inbox directly. But go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned for episode number 15 coming out next week um, where I'm going to walk you through what we do for password management. All right, talk to you soon.